All right, hey everyone, this is Mr. W. Today's uh, lesson is on number patterns, part seven, input and output tables uh, with multiplication rules. An input output table is a table of numbers that has an input column and an output column. And the input and the output work in a set. For example, five and 35 work together. Uh, three and 21 work together in a set. Usually they run from top to bottom, but it could also sometimes be left to right. And our job is to figure out what is happening. We start with five, but it ends with 35. And that's called the rule. For example, to get from five to 35, are we adding, are we multiplying, subtracting or dividing, and then by how much? So we're gonna leave some space off to the side here today to show our work. Also going to be using a calculator today just to save a little bit of time. So let's get started. Remember that the rule must stay the same. Our numbers will change. Finding the rule is important because we have to be able to apply it to every single uh, input and output value. Okay, we start with 5, 35. Next, 3 and 21. So we are definitely getting uh, rules that are bigger. And see, they're going to be in a, a plus rule or multiplication. Just to save time, I just wrote some notes here. It says the rule could either be a times seven, for example, five times seven would equal 35, or it could be a plus 30, and here's why. We have five plus blank equals 35. Because of fact families, we can interchangeably use these numbers. So instead of five plus blank equals 35, we could go 35 minus five equals 30, meaning that it could be a plus 30 rule. Well, which is it? Is it going to be a times seven or a plus 30? We can eliminate the plus 30. Here's why. Remember, we said the rule has to stay the same. Three plus 30 would equal 33 and not 21. So we know that this is going to be a times seven rule. All right, let's go back. Let's show it one more way. We would start with our, oops, yikes, five times blank equals 35. So imagine if you did not know that that was a times seven rule. What we can do is because of our knowledge of fact families, we could say 35 divided by five, and whatever this number is, because of fact families, it would also be that number as well. So 35 divided by five would equal seven. If it's seven here, it has to be seven, which means this is a times seven rule. So we've eliminated plus uh, an addition rule. We know it's a times seven. Now we just have to uh, use the rule for the rest of the table. So nine times seven would be 63. I'm going to skip this one for now. 12 times our rule of seven would equal 84. So here we do not have the first value, but we can do it the same way. We would just say blank times seven equals 42. Because of fact families, I know that instead of multiplying by seven, remember we're working from left to right. In this case, we're working opposite. We're working from right to left. We can also work this problem the opposite. The opposite of multiplication would be division. So we're going to divide by seven. In other words, 42 divided by seven would equal six. Whatever number we have here, because of fact families, goes there. So this would be six. So we've completed our table with a times seven rule. Find the rule. You can see this input output table is running from left to right. Our first input is four, output of 36, eight, 72. We are definitely getting bigger. Once again, it could be addition or multiplication, and it's either, to save time, it's either going to be a plus 32 or a times nine. It could be four plus 
32 would equal 40, or 4 times 9 equals 36. We can eliminate the plus 32 rule, and here's why. 8 plus 32 would be equal to 40 and not 72. So that's probably the hardest thing with these is you just have to be able to eliminate. And the reason why we can eliminate is that the rule must be able to stay the same. And we'll prove that by using our uh, times 9 rule. Let me just show that here. So 4 times 9 equals 36. 8 times 9 equals 72. So we've confirmed that. 6 times 9 would equal 54. 3 times 9 is 27. Here, what we're going to do is actually that down here, it's going to be blank times 9, pretty rough 9, equals 45. Because of fact families, I can divide by 9. So in other words, 45 divided by 9 would equal 5. And we know that's true because we can interchange those numbers when we use fact families. So our rule for this input output table is times 9. Find the rule. Go ahead and pause and try to solve. OK, how'd you do? We went from 4 to 24, 6 to 36. It got bigger. We know it's either a plus or times. It could either be a plus 20 or a times 6. But when you apply the rule, you're going to have to eliminate one of them. We're going to be able to eliminate the plus 20. Remember, 4 plus 20 is 24. But 6 plus 20 would be 26 and not 36. This is a multiplication rule. We would solve that again by going 4 times blank equals 24. And I could just use my inverse operations of division. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. So this is going to be a times 6 rule. 8 times 6 equals 48. We know that 10 times 6 would be 60. Here we have blank times 6 equals 72. But because we are working on this one the opposite direction, instead of multiplying by 6, we can divide by 6. In other words, 72 divided by 6 would equal 12, which I'll write right here, meaning that it would also be 12 here. And so we have now completed our input output table with a uh, rule of times six. All right, thanks everybody.